Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here. In this video, take a look at Jaded Toys 124 scale Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. This is how he looks in packaging. Got the green from Rise of the Beast over here. Look at the robot mode. Die cast with the rubber tires. Jaded Toys up here at the top. Turn to the side, you get some artwork. And turn to the back, you see the car. Optimus Prime, and it has a robot on the chassis. And of course, on the bottom, you get your little legal mumbo jumbo. We're going to cut this box open and unscrew him from the base. Usually, there's screws that hold the car in place so it doesn't rock around the clock tonight so we're gonna do that and we'll show off optimus prime once you have freedom from his prison he does have some like tape stuff that's protective of some of the chrome so we'll have to remove that it goes around the door down here to the bottom of the robot so we'll take that off and this up here on his mirrors and he doesn't have one on the other side because this mirror is free the other one was inside the plastic bubble on the inside and here's Optimus Prime with all that stuff removed and straight out of the box. A very shiny here in the chrome. It can be a big fingerprint magnet here. Very nice detailing up front. Little Autobot logo right there in the front. Turn to the side. You got one on each side as well. Got a little bit of scratch right there on the chrome. Doors do open up. Eh, kind of hard to see on the inside there. Turn to the other side. You got a scratch right there too off the paint. Nope. Good. It was just something stuck to the thing. Open this one up. And you can see the steering wheel and everything on the inside. Nice shiny uh, up caps and everything on here. Rubber tires rolls extremely well. Back view back here. Top down. Just got a trailer hitch. I don't have an MP Optimus Prime anymore that came with the trailer, so I don't know if that could actually uh, attach that or not. Underside, you get the robot mode on the chassis. So, I guess if you want to, you can try to stand it up on his ass end. But it's down there if you want to see Optimus Prime's robot mode from Rise of the Beast somewhere on this truck. Now, we'll do some quick comparisons. We'll just angle him this way. And we'll bring in the Jada Toys 124 scale G1 Optimus Prime, so you can see how those look together. Back up just a tad here. There you go. Get more in frame. I mean, it's very reminiscent of the G1 uh, truck itself. So it's got this here on the side. More of a guard here on the front of the truck as well. Oh, it's just got a lot of the same kind of detailing going on. Side view looking at them. A Rise of the Bees. Slightly taller cab here. Smokestacks are about equal in height. Wheels are a little bit bigger here on the Rise of the Beast. Turn it to the back end. Both are shiny and beautiful. If you keep these trucks looking good, I think they'll both be a nice little shelf piece in anybody's automotive collection or Transformers collection if you want a good looking uh, alt mode for the characters. Here you get some something. You get some of the lights done here on the back of the truck. More flat, more filled out, and this one's more open ended here. Now I don't have a Bumblebee at all, surprisingly, in this size. I meant to get the one from the Bumblebee movie that came with Charlie, but I never did. I always asked for it as a you know, for ideas for Christmas, birthdays, and whatnot. Never got it. I just never bought it. But I do have Age of Extinction's uh, crosshairs just because I love the look of the car mode. I love the Chevy Corvettes, so I got that. Uh, I wish they do a G1 uh, Trax in this size. There's a comparison here between these two. Another shot. Another angle. Optimus Prime is slightly longer. I can touch both ends. My hands don't touch crosshairs. So this camera, just because he's in the front, he looks bigger. You can probably hide him back there. And ask you. If you have any of the humans from the Masterpiece line, you can stick them in the front seat. I got Daniel sitting in there. I think he came with Ultra Magnus. And he sits down right inside the cab there. So you can bend their knees. And don't worry. He's underage, but he doesn't have to drive this. Prime can drive himself. Final thoughts, it's a nice rendition of the Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. And if you want a nice, hefty, you know, die cast, rubber tires, alt mode for the character, these are really nice looking. You got the G1 right here. And they look the part. They don't transform. I know people have problems getting transformer things that don't transform, but sometimes I'm just looking for the best representation of the character. That's just going to be like a, you know, a shelf piece something to look at now sometimes i'm gonna pick up and fiddle with and transform to something to pose here or there or just put it on the shelf to make it look nice and this here accomplishes that especially if you have the g1 version you can put next to it and i don't have the bayverse version of the truck with the flames or anything i never i got the small 
or scale version. I don't have the larger scale version, so I can't compare that with this. Uh, but you know, it looks fine for what that was, but that wasn't Optimus Prime to me. These here are more reminiscent of what I want in my Optimus Prime. It's a very nice piece. It runs between $25 to $30 uh, from Walmart Target. I think I got this Target for a Father's Day gift. I just now got around to reviewing it. You can get it from entertainmentearth.com, probably from Amazon. I'll leave some links down in the description below where you can purchase this item. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.